The, the argument that's received the most attention, uh, I guess, over the last 25 years is Schellenberg's argument, which takes hiddenness to be um, a kind of evidential phenomenon, right? So basically there are lots of people uh, out there who aren't resisting a relationship with God in any way, but um, either for lack of evidence or for lack of having the concept of God, um, they don't believe in God. And Schellenberg thinks, uh, you know, if God loves these people, right, um, at a minimum, God's going to do what God can to remove obstacles to belief, right? I mean, obviously, not knowing that you exist, not knowing that someone exists is a pretty clear and obvious <laughs> obstacle to relationship, right? Um, and so it's, uh, so that's the basic idea, right? If God's really loving everybody, and if God's open to relationship with everybody, um, then we just shouldn't find people who aren't resistant to a relationship with God, but still find themselves perfectly reasonably uh, failing to believe in God. The argument hinges on assumptions about what divine love would look like. And those assumptions um, are grounded in just kind of our basic intuitions about um, loving relationships. Oh, that's interesting. That, that seems to be more assumptions on your part about what God is and how God's love functions rather than addressing anything that you think that the atheist is saying in regards to the problem of what you call divine hiddenness, uh, which frankly speaking is just an utter joke. I mean, yeah, it loves us, but it's hidden. I mean, really? So your your way out of that is to say that God's love is different than our love, but you don't know that. You're assuming that. So how do you get around that problem? Um, hmm. Hmm. Sounds like bullshit to me. Um, um, I, I don't know exactly what it is to be an excellent lover of kids. Did you just... Pull these arguments out of your ass. You know, we just reflect on love in that way. This, again, is... Um... And uh, when did you last stop beating your wife again? You know, we just reflect on love in that way. This, again, is... Um... You have the straw man already. Are you going to get the tinsman and the cowardly lion at any point? Uh... We don't totally know what love would look like for an absolutely perfect being. Hmm. So God is hidden, and anything we assume about God's hiddenness can be justified with more ideas about God that have not yet been justified. Do I have that right? Our concept of love is only analogically related to the kind of love that God actually displays. We're not really entitled to trust our intuitions about love. So God is hidden because the love that God has is different than the love that we know about because we're relying on the intuition about love that we have that's been given to us by God that created us knowing that we would be confused about what sort of love God has for us and God remains hidden because his love is different than the love that we're used to. And all of that is something that you know because... Yeah, yeah, I think that's basically right. Um, right. Well, um, I don't believe any of that. I think that you've presented a construct straw man of what you think the atheist argument is. And then your answer to it is absolutely idiotic and nobody should accept it ever. Um, 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 kind of weird. Kids, kind of weird. Um, um, kind of weird. Kids, excellent lover of kids. Um, 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 kind of weird. Kids, kind of weird. Um, um, Kind of weird. Kids, excellent lover of kids. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Um, our concept of love is only analogically related to kids. Um, Yo. 
Deconverted man is here to say if you believe this guy then go away. No actually I want you to sit and stay. Listen to me every day. Look all I want is for you to learn logic. That way you will know all of this is logic. That's not even a word but whatever. It kind of rhymes so it's in there now. I don't really do rhymes really good, especially cause I'm not from the hood. Um, this bald guy, he doesn't know a thing. Why the hell are you listening to me sing? And I can tell you this, he has not received a kiss um, from anyone in a while. Hey, wait a minute, I'm just talking about myself. Anyways, listen hard um, to me now. See, this guy is really queer. What does that even mean? I don't know. Um, it's a word I made up. It's all good in the hood. I already said that these lyrics aren't planned. I'm just freestyling man and I'm too white to make any of this seem real bright. Um, but that's okay, cause I don't believe. I don't believe in the things that he Steve. Um, he be laying down all this stuff and things. It just it doesn't make you know it's like um, really wrong and this guy's like giving him softballs it's not even an atheist he's like i want to believe in god um, so i'm gonna look at atheist arguments that makes no sense like why would you do why would you want to um, i don't know man any rate look my point is um, monsters exist learn logic i don't know be a skeptic these apologetic videos um, are getting whacked they're so pathetic. I, I've got nothing but flack. Um, uh, last time I tried to explain something, I got jacked. Um, um, post a comment um, and hit the like and stuff. Um, and buy my books. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Um, Don't forget to stay skeptical. Because if you did, then uh, that, that would um, be bad and sad and not rad. This was really really bad um